Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is beginning to look like stained glass to me. My brother's a stained glass artist, and he said for a while, that's it, that'll be the last of the artists, there'll be no more stained glass, because there's no need for it. I mean, this is like, I remember when the Eldorado convertible, the last one in like 71, that's it, General Motors will no longer make any more convertibles. And I hope cell animation comes back and doesn't go the way of vinyl records. And I say that because you start getting more computerized and you see uh, Texas Instruments, I believe the, the Toy Story 2 is high def, the first example of that, and the uh, Toy Story 3, if, if, if we do it, will be even clearer and sharper. It's beginning to look like something else entirely, whereas Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has that wonderful, fluid, human touch that only cell animation could get. And I, and I know there is a move within Disney Animation and Pixar and Disney Digital to maybe marry these technologies. There's something, there's something wonderful about cell animation because human beings actually did the work. And if you see cell animation now, any of the, the original cell animated movies have such a wonderful quality to them that almost it's dreamlike and fluid where if you sharpened your brain, and it, it's great what we did with Toy Story because it was another whole dimension. But it's narrow in its range to me. You can't soften the edge. You can't make it wonderful and beautiful. And some of the, look at Fantasia, parts of Fantasia. It's, it's very, very interesting and very different. And I don't think they, I don't think we, we, don't, we, we took that as far as it can go.